Hi and welcome to this video from tech4rc.com. Today we're going to be fitting a backlight to a Spectrum DX6i transmitter. Here's the Turnagy plug and play backlight kit. We'll be using a medium size Phillips screwdriver, a small size Phillips screwdriver and a small flat blade. So let's get started. First thing we need something to put the transmitter on. We use the foam inserts from the box that the transmitter comes in. If you um, don't have that we do have some tips and ideas on our website of what you can use. So we place that face down in the foam. The first job is to remove the batteries. So we just pop those out and put them in there. Once the batteries are out we can put the just clip that in place. Next job is to take the one, two, three, four, five, six screws from the transmitter rear case. We're using a magnetic screwdriver, so it just makes it easier to um, remove those screws. Then we just pop them into the foam insert to keep them safe. Just this is the last one. So that's the screws out of the case. If you remove the rear of the case, just be careful because the wires are quite short. If I tilt this up, I want to remove this one first. So just hold on to the transmitter. Just grab the cable and the connector. Just wiggle them. And that will come out. Gives you a bit more room then. Take this one out next. And finally that one. Once those have been removed we can put the back case safely out of the way and there we go we've got the, um, the inside of the transmitter. So the next job now we need to remove this circuit board so with your small Phillips screwdriver there's one screw up on the corner here so if we undo that pop that in there just grab hold of this circuit board there's a connector here that we need to remove. Just pull that up vertically. That will just pop off. If we put that in there, then that will keep that safely out of the way. You don't need to disconnect that cable. That will stay out of the way. So the next job now is to disconnect the eight connectors on the printed circuit board. This one you cannot disconnect. It's actually soldered on. But that does pop out. Just put that to one side. These connectors are quite difficult to remove when they're new. These have been removed several times, so they're not too bad. Again, we do have tips and ideas on our website to make um, removal of these easier. We just go around clockwise and remove all of these connectors. Pull these last two off, and there we go. So now we've got those connectors all out of the way. What you need to do is take the small Phillips screwdriver and remove this printed circuit board. Now there are six screws, one on each corner, and we've got two here. These two actually hold your LCD module to your printed circuit board, so we need to leave those in for now. So just unscrew these four corner screws, just pop them into that little foam uh, pocket there, keep them safe for when we're putting it back together. And this is the last one. So that's the four screws out. So what we do now, finger on each end of the board, tilt it up at this edge and just remove that. You want to be careful because you have got um, the glass LCD there, so just put it on a soft surface. So that's the uh, printed circuit board removed. So now we have the 
printer circuit removed from the, um, the back case. Next job, take your flat bladed screwdriver, just gently push on this ribbon cable connector on either side and firmly but um, you don't want to break this connector. Once that's clicked back we can now just gently grab hold of the ribbon cable and that will remove from the printer circuit board. Small Phillips screwdriver will be removing these two screws let's put those to one side there we go once you've done that you can actually remove your print circuit board from your LCD display what we need to do now is remove these two white plastic um, end caps Normally they'll have hot glue on here, it's quite easy to pull off, this has already been removed. We just pop those off. We suggest you keep those safe in your transmitter box or in your toolbox in case you want to put it back together again. So again, just put that on somewhere that's soft so it doesn't damage it. Next job, turn this over and we'll take the items out of the... Uh, backlight kit. So there's your backlight. You have a small piece of uh, blue tack and two double sided foam tape. The kit does come with this large foam pad. We don't actually use that because we think it's a little bit too thick. So if we get started, if you take the double sided tape, what you can do is just uh, Peel one of the protective tabs off. You've got white lines on the printed circuit board, so just place those in the middle of those two lines. It's not really critical where you place those. And if we pop the second one on there, just push down firmly. And um, then we want to remove the other protective tabs on this face here. There we go. So now what we want to do is take the backlight. Now if you look at this, the easiest way to identify is if you look at that you've got a dark edge here where the wires are exiting. That's where the light will come out this side. The other side's completely white. You want the wires exiting the same side as your DC jack and then uh, what we want to do is we want the bottom of this display to be parallel with uh, that and the same um, distance away. One thing to watch out for, you've got two component legs stuck up here. You don't want this backlight to hit those. So if we just put it just so it's clear of those and so it's level on that bottom edge and just push down gently. So now we've got the bottom edge of the backlight is level with the printer circuit board. And that's your backlight in position. So the next job, we take the small piece of uh, blue tack, you want to break it into two, you just want to roll those into uh, small little sausages. It's not too important what size they are, about that's adequate. What I now want to do is take your LCD display. The ribbon cable wants to go at this edge where the connector is and I want to put it so that uh, this bottom edge is level with the backlight. You've actually got two white lines, you can just see that one there they're useful to give it position left and right. And we'll put that so it's level with the bottom of the backlight. Put a little bit oops, of blue tack on that edge. Get the second bit and 
just make sure it's pushed up against the LCD and the, the backlight. If you look at that, you can see there's the white line and a white line, so it's roughly in position there. If I run my finger along there, just adjust that. This is why we prefer to use blue tack rather than hot glue. It does allow you just to reposition slightly and get everything in the correct position. So that's now the LCD display, the backlight and the printer circuit board all held into position. So we've got the, uh, the unit all together. All we need to do now is just turn it over and we'll reconnect the ribbon cable. So again, just make sure this connector is fully open. Take the ribbon cable and just gently push that in. Once that's in, just move each side down a little at a time and you'll feel it click into place. Once that's clicked into place, just make sure that um, the ribbon cable is actually parallel to this connector. There'll be a little brown, um, black or, or white piece of plastic here that gives you a, a line and uh, that should be level with this. So there you go, that's now fully assembled and um, we'll be putting that into the back of the transmitter. Okay, so we've got our transmitter back on the workbench. There's our PCB backlight and LCD unit all together. Before we put it together, just check there are, are no bits that have got into the back of the transmitter. They will show through, so I just blow these out. Um, and again, on the uh, LCD, just blow that off and make sure there's no bits or fingerprints on it. What I want to do now is you want the connectors and the cables coming out the right, the ribbon cable at the bottom and the little red LED at the top. Grab hold of those on each end with one finger. Just tilt it and just gently pop that in. These connectors may get in the way, but um, it's not too bad a job. And then once that's in position, just untake the small Phillips screwdriver and pop the screw in on two of the corners. Don't do them up um, fully, just a, a couple of turns. Pop this one into here. What we do, just make sure there's no trap cables or connectors. If you look at the bottom of the print circuit board where this comes out, you just see the glass at the bottom. It, um, you can see the width of that screwdriver blade. It sticks down about that much. We'll put a close-up on the uh, website of that. So that all looks fine. So we'll grab the uh, other screws and just put the four screws into the corners of the printer circuit board. And just pop that back into place to keep the uh, wires out of the way. So just tighten those uh, down. Don't tighten them too tight, they are into plastic and they're only gripping the uh, printer circuit board. So there we go, that's all that unit back in place. Start off on the left hand connectors, just pop those, you'll feel them click into position. That one, and that one. Now this one we don't want to put in yet. That last one in. This is where you're going to take your power from. So we take the adapter cable. This wants to go into your printer circuit board, and we now want to plug this wiring loom connector into your Turnigy backlight connector. Just make sure it's fully home. This 
will now tuck down in there. There's plenty of room in the case, so not to worry. Just make sure all your wires are looking, there's none that will get trapped on the case. And again, take this little printer circuit board. We're going to be putting it into this connector, so just make sure that they're all lined up. And just gently push that into place. Grab the little Phillips screwdriver. I've got a single screw that holds it into place there. That's done up. Okay, so just have a final check. All the connectors are in place. All the wires are looking as though they're okay and they're not going to get trapped. I'll take the rear of the case, plug this one in first. Put this one in. Second connector. Make sure it clicks home, and the third connector. So there we go. That's now the back in place. I'll only put two screws in, so I'll shorten the sequence a little bit. Pop this second screw in. Next job. Put the batteries in. Just be careful with polarity. the case back on. So we're now ready to test the backlight. So I'll just turn our lights off a moment and move that. So there we go. A successful installation. The display's lined up correctly and we've now got a backlight. Thanks very much for watching this video from Tech for RC and we hope you find it informative.